Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. So as posted previously, Microsoft has announced that we will only be getting one feature update per year going forward now for the Windows 11 operating system as opposed to how it has been up until recently for Windows 10 where we have received two feature updates per year. Now, just in case you did not know, just to do a quick recap, that one and only single feature update could possibly roll out in October next year of 2022 and will also be known as the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update. The 22 means that's the year the feature update rolled out in and the H2 means the update rolled out in the second half of that particular year. Now, if we just head over to announcing Windows 11 inside a preview build 22509, which is the latest dev channel build of Windows 11 in the Insider program currently, which was released on the 1st of December, just a couple of days ago, Microsoft has made mention and announced in these release notes that we may not have to wait until that single version update next year for Windows 11 version 22H2 to get new features and core components uh, uh, in the Windows 11 operating system. Now, just in case you were unaware, the dev channel uh, is generally where Microsoft starts testing uh, new features and components uh, of the Windows 11 operating system, which could possibly and ultimately roll out to a stable uh, version of Windows 11 in the future. Now, just to go to that announcement that Microsoft has made recently in these release notes about the dev channel, these builds, that's dev channel builds, are also not matched to a specific release. New features and OS improvements from these builds, the dev channel builds, could show up in future Windows releases when they're ready and we may deliver them as full OS updates or servicing releases. So full OS updates means your feature updates like version 22H2 rolling out next year or servicing releases, which means your cumulative updates which roll out every month. So Microsoft is saying yeah, they will not only just use feature updates, but will be using your cumulative updates that roll out every month to possibly roll out new features to Windows 11. And they've also made mention in the past that to do this, they will be using the Windows Feature Experience Pack, which is found both in Windows 10 and 11. Now, just as an example, um, this means that the start menu improvements, which I have posted on a couple of days ago, the start menu improvements that Microsoft is testing uh, in the dev channel currently uh, in Windows 11 should uh, possibly roll out to the stable uh, version and channel of Windows 11 before that uh, single feature update next year, version 22H2, before the end of next year. So I thought this was interesting. Um, that um, although Microsoft has announced that we will only be getting one feature update, that um, those cumulative updates which roll out every month could possibly carry key features, uh, new feature updates and components to the Windows 11 operating system. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.